que hay un arquetipo espiritual puertorriqueño. Hay un anhelo de superación puertorriqueña. Hay una grandeza puertorriqueña. Hay una visión de belleza puertorriqueña. Hay una fe puertorriqueña. Hay una fe que se extiende hacia la eternidad de generaciones por nacer de grandes y nobles y santos puertorriqueños. Puerto Rico is a nation culturally, but politically it is not. Hay que recordar primero que o sea, era un país militarmente ocupado. The Americans came in with a plan, and the plan was not altruistic liberation of these poor people in the Caribbean. It was a plan of exploitation. They made us uh, U.S. citizens just a few months before the U.S. entered the First World War. La bandera puertorriqueña era prohibida. Masacran en Ponce, en Utuado. I don't know if you ever heard of Dr. Rhodes. He clearly stated that what he was there for was to do these cancer experiments. Que le inyectaba veneno a las a la madres puertorriqueñas y a la gente puertorriqueña para matarlos. Los yanquis tenían el poder de las armas. Nosotros lo único teníamos en nuestra vida. Military rule is military rule. I mean, ask the Iraqis. El encarcelamiento, el destierro, las masacres, la tortura, destruyéndole su negocio, liquidándole sus intereses a la fuerza, la prostitución, la corrupción, el soborno, el terrorismo. Nada. Unwavering audacity, intense political passion, fierce national pride. Pedro Albizu Campos had all the makings of a classic 20th century revolutionary. Albizu Campos, you know, he's like a Malcolm X in Puerto Rico for us, you know? A Harvard-educated lawyer and president of the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party, he championed social justice, defied colonial rule, and galvanized Puerto Rico's fight for independence from the United States. Mark the terrorist, Albizu Campos was accused of ordering the assassinations of President Truman, multiple U.S. governors and police chiefs, and organizing the 1954 attack on the House of Congress. La idea vino de Albizu. La idea no la orden. Fast forward to 2007, and the average Puerto Rican has no idea who Albizu Campos is. What does Don Pedro mean to you? I don't know. I'm not sure. I just know I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> If he represents that flag, up, he's good for me. No good. It is the reason why I am proud of being Puerto Rican today. Yeah. That's my hero. We hope nobody forgets our Alpizu Campo, our father. He personified our dignity, our identity, our self-respect. And no matter what criticism anyone may have, what questions, he wasn't perfect. He was a human being.